Hello. Without Welcome having to be an to affiliate marketer, a coach, a consultant. Hey, um, video for a minute. Um, I don't have the. I'm not gonna edit this. That, that, this video's not gonna be edited. I'm trying to have a better uh, thumbnail for you guys. But, hey, today's video is my first time reacting. Jesse and Kip, aka the Karate Nor Nerd. Today's video, we are looking at Karate Nerd and Okinawa. This is uh, season one, episode one. Uh, title: Basa uh, Bayashi Ryu. Master Master Mr. Bashi, yeah, Mr. Bashi, yeah. Why well, would I put those words together? Da 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 da. <laughs> I haven't rehearsed this, so sorry for my 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 apologies. Master, Master Bashi, Master Bashi. When I want to say that one go, I I screw it up. Master Bashi. This is why foreigners mess up Japanese words. We, because I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to pronounce, how to pronounce these words. It's very important for me to say this correctly. Listen by Yashi, Ryu. Ryu means dragon in Japanese. Uh, but I don't know what must. Masubayashi means, I guess we're all alone, and with uh, Jesse here, he's a nerd, he knows a lot more, and he has, his, his birth, Araki, Araki, Araki Toshimatsu, uh, which is, uh, Judon, he says, in parentheses, uh, Dan, 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 uh, is the ranked, so, uh, so he's uh, a, a grandmaster at this point. So the he's a, a tenth degree, uh, tenth dan, as the highest level, the highest level in karate. Okay, the highest. Um, assuming mastered by Yashi Ryu is the style of karate. Uh, so, uh, so man, I don't know. The each karate has a meaning. Like karate means empty hand. Um, the uh, the uh, uh, style I learned was karate do, the way of the empty hand. The uh, uh, shurikan, uh, knife hand. Uh, the, the, I know shoto means knife. Uh, uh, Khan, uh, I, 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 I do, uh, I don't know how some, some, uh, this is, it's literally chase, translated, it's not the easiest to translate from English to, Jap from Japanese to English, just, but let's go on, let's go skip this, the uh, ad here, as let's see, this, this, this thing, why I, uh, far away, and? a young, Oh, I like the I like the intro. This was five years ago. Uh, this is my first time watching this one. Never seen it. So uh, I I I don't have obviously I don't have any of these cool intros. Explore the roots of karate. Challenge his mind and body, and sharing his epic discoveries. Just in how is. The person who has doing the the intro for the for in just in camp does not have the same accent, so uh, he sounds more American. Just as the in camp does. I from being from Georgia does not sound American either. So let's continue. The karate nerd. The funny thing is, he calls himself a nerd, a nerd, and the nerd is telling somebody who really knows 
a certain subject, right? Uh, they are they look at a feeble, weak uh, person that is really smart, uh, uh, somebody who knows a lot of knowledge of something. Uh, there's no other name like geek. Uh, it, it's a it's it's just uh, the dreams. Um, those those words are not uh, look a, a very uh, awesome. Uh, but uh, when you uh, use the the karate nerd, uh, he is ever say uh, you know it's letting him know he he knows karate or oh, at least his a uh, his his level of understanding of of this. As his he's he's his, his much of a nerd. He knows the he knows the um the subject really well. In other words, that's why he calls himself a nerd. That's a uh, full screen. This. Hey guys, it's me Jesse from KarateByJesse.com. I am on my way to Okinawa. The huh, so he has a website. Apparently, he has a uh, a website. Uh. It's Jesse, so it's Jesse by Jesse dot com. <coughs> Jesse, uh, whatever. Uh, Karate by Jesse. Karate by Jesse. And he sounds more American than this one. Uh, some reason. Place of Karate. And even though I've been there almost a dozen times, and I actually used to live there and study at university, oh, is, uh, this time I want to bring you guys with me as I visit different dojos and senseis and try different cultural activities you know the history the language all of these things that many of us don't have access to unless we actually go to Okinawa and I know that a lot of you can't go there because you have work family commitments you don't have the knowledge or the money so I will go there and I'm bringing the camera with me for you to enjoy this journey let's go First stop, Nagoya. After nine and a half hours of flying, we now arrived in Nagoya, which is our first. So Nagoya, 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 uh, sounds like a, a a city or a state, or I'm assuming it's probably a state in Japan somewhere, probably. Stop on the way to Okinawa. Okay. Right, that was a long flight, but we finally made it. The birthplace of karate. Here we go. The humidity here in Okinawa is incredible. As soon as you step out of the airplane, it's like someone punches you in the face. It's like all of your clothes stick to your body. So I'm really looking forward to training in this humidity. Even though it's not the hottest summer right now, it's still gonna be pretty sticky, I think, in the dojo. So now we're about to take a mono. Yeah, that's why someone like me, I, I wouldn't be wearing my jacket. If it's warm, it's, uh, and, uh, what, I don't know where you come from. Maybe it was cold, a little cold. But I, I'm I'm hot nature, but bro, but bro, bro, I would have probably be in shorts. I would probably definitely uh, stop take my. I know you're on the camera, but take out the jacket, put it, fold it, fold it nice and neatly, of you, of you, and then put it in a bag, dude, just to relax more. That's just me. It's like a train that goes just on one rail across the whole Naha, the main city in Okinawa. And we're gonna use that for transportation these first days while we're here. All right, we finally arrived at this traditional Japanese style room with the tatami mats, sleeping on the floor, sitting on the floor, you name it. I even managed to pick up some uh, pineapple and some 30% off sashimi tip. If you ever go uh, to sashimi is uh, like a, 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 a sushi that uh, has the, the meat on top. Okay, sashimi is a very nice fresh fish. 
that uh, has a uh, nori wrapped around the rice and uh, sashimi is placed on top and uh, you'll see uh, salmon, you'll see tuna, you'll, you'll see uh, tempura, it's, it's, it's raw and it's and you also see, can see uh, crab meat and you can use you know, you'll see uh, shrimp on top so uh, but m mainly sashimi is uh, fish that's cut uh, freshly and it, it may be lightly cooked now it's not completely not if it's gonna be completely raw but it would be lightly cooked depending on the uh, the, the cut of fish you, you get depends how raw uh, sashimi is <coughs> and uh, so for those of you who don't know what sashimi is is basically a, a bowl of rice underneath um, it might be a uh, 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 and then uh, it, it will be wrapped with uh, 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 the bo the uh, this just this the rice tail before they put the uh, sashimi uh, on top of the rice. So usually it will be probably wrapped with uh, uh, nori with the is the siri nor nori is wrapped around. Then you have the uh, you, you, it's uh, it's placed on the top, or you might have not only wrapped around the whole thing uh, of the of the uh, thing. So um, you have the word Maggie, which is the row. So uh, the uh, so it's, it's the the sushi roll, sushi Maggie. Maki. Ma uh, like uh, think of uh, uh, Naruto. Uh, Musu Maki. Okay, Ma Maki. The last uh, the last part. Musu Maki. Um, I mean the road. So he's uh, Naruto means uh, this pace and uh, it's a, it, 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 it'd be a tap the type of food that he likes to eat uh, with his ramen uh, but uh, this is just, 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 just to the supermarket after 7 p.m. you always get a discount <sighs> just so you know I'm really looking forward to eating this food now and getting some rest because there's a long day ahead of me tomorrow first morning in Naha Okinawa and I actually noticed that the place I'm staying at is located right here in Kume Village, which is now uh, that's the bus station. Uh, you even though they're in Kana, uh, Kata, uh, Kata Kanji, then you have Katakana Kata Kata behind it. Uh, that's gonna be the gist of what you see. Usually, if you can't read the kanji, usually they will have some kind of pictures. Uh, the lean phone notes, hey, this is a place to eat, this is a place of transportation. Uh, so, um, I think that's U, Ma, M, M, uh, uh, so, no, it's ramen. So, that's, that's ramen. Right? Ramen. So, that, that so they sell ramen there. The if the the Kata Kata one there behind them is a place where you can eat food. Obviously, uh, the uh, there's the pictures behind them showing that what kind of food they have, but it's a ramen shop. I don't know the kanji what it says. I'm not that great in reading kanji, but I, I then I know I was pronouncing it wrong at first. Is it, wait. It says ramen, not umen. <laughs> like, what the? No, ramen. So, my bad, guys.
is the historical area where the first Chinese people came to Okinawa to stay and live. So there's already a karate oh, connection. Oh, FYI, uh, the, uh, the word ramen is a Chinese noodles. It uh, came from China, uh, th which uh, which also would be in. Uh, you, it's, so you also, it's not just a Japanese thing, but you also could go to China and eat uh, where, uh, where the birthplace of the ramen noodles, uh, you can eat ramen Oh, as well, so that's why it's in Katakana and not uh, in Kanji. And right there, because many of these Chinese people were actually because Kanji is uh, Katakana is foreign words. Usually, uh, written usually Katakana is written in uh, words that is written in Katakana, it usually is a foreign word like Kamputa, uh, ramen, for instance. Actually, kung fu masters that local experts <coughs> to with. So, let's hit the streets. We're on our way to Shuri Castle or Shuri Jo, as it's called in Japanese, an iconic landmark in the history of karate, a hotspot of karate masters. See, back in the old days, this used to be. An area where they had the distilleries for the sake or awamori as they call it in the Okinawan language. The sake means rice wine. Uh, the because he's uh, he's awamori, which is uh, the Okinawan language. Uh, they use uh, different uh, words. It's 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 a different form of Japanese. It's like a uh, uh, going to China, right? You have uh, Mandarin Chinese, which is uh, you have the uh, I think you have traditional Chinese. Then you have Cantonese. Now Cantonese is uh, a, a form of Chinese, just like. Uh, Akunawa uh, has a form of the form of uh, Japanese. Uh, people from south, north, uh, 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 areas will, will, will speak uh, a different dialogue of Japanese. Language, the booze, which meant that there was a lot of money circulating in these areas which meant that they had to get karate masters here to protect the the trade with the sake and the stuff that they sold. Yeah, uh, uh, sake is a, a word <coughs> as a milk is uh, uh, pronounced wrongly. We will call it sake, which is a, a, a different word. Uh, it means a different, uh, different, different thing. Uh, that's a different video. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, sake is a word that describes uh, alcohol. Like, uh, not just, uh, it's mostly common to the rice and wine, but it also could be liquor. Uh, they have a word for beer, which is beer, but uh, for the most part, uh, sake is uh, a word that describes. Alcohol, or booze, like he said. So, around the castle area, a lot of karate masters live. But also, of course, the castle had to be protected from intruders. So, karate masters, local fighting arts experts, were employed as security guards or uh, lifeguards, not, not lifeguards, bodyguards, and that kind of stuff. Which meant that it's, this became like a hotbed for karate back in the days. And that's why a lot of the modern day karate comes from shooty area. Check it out. <coughs> As you approach the Shuri Castle, you have to pass. That's funny. Uh, that's cool. I think he is. Uh, is he? I don't know. Is he German? I don't know. He has the uh, Adidas, uh, we, which is no word that we pronounce wrong. It's a German uh, clothesline, cl clothing he using. So uh, that I believe that's close to where his heritage is. <laughs> he might be Dutch. But, uh... 
pass through the Shurei Mon or the Shurei Gate, this iconic landmark just before you get to the castle. And it was said that back in the old Ryukyu Kingdom days, before Okinawa was united to, to modern day Okinawa, it consisted of three different kingdoms. That's because uh, Okinawa was. Uh, then, what was it? The British had taken over. Uh, the British. Uh, had a hand on it, they didn't uh, uh, release to uh, make it make uh, to the uh, as they as their own uh, country. It was part of the uh, Britain colony for the longest time until they uh, until the British give it back to the Jap Japanese or the Algonorans. And the king who united Okinawa he built this castle then and every visitor to Okinawa had to pass through this gate before he could be accepted as a, a guest in the king's castle. And the sign says land of propriety which means that you have to have the correct moral values to be uh, a good guest in Okinawa. It's all about the spirit. This is the facts. Well of course this is not the original one. The old Shuri uh, gate was bombed to pieces in the World War, so they built this replica to make sure that it looked exactly like it should. Yeah, that's uh, this was a fax. Why aren't you the landlord? Yes, you. Why aren't you the landlord? Because I'm broke as Every fuck. Day, you go to and from work, and you look up and you see apartment buildings, self storage facilities. Office buildings, shopping centers, hmm. and I bet at times what's going through your mind is what would it be like if I owned that commercial property? What would the cash flow be? How could it speed up my retirement? Or perhaps you're wondering, I wish I could understand how to buy that commercial property. You know the one, the one where you work in. So I have to skip by us like that. Watch your step. By the way, these steps are awesome. Stretch your hip, your hip flexors. Look. Ugh. Well, 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 I'm glad you're stretching out. Uh, good, but good stretch, man. Good job. All right, got the tickets. Let's go in. I'm guessing him and somebody else is with him. Uh, the pretty camel guy. Color is super Chinese. So if you compare this to like a regular Japanese castle, it doesn't look anything like in mainland Japan, and that's because uh, China had a strong cultural ties with Okinawa that's back true. in the days. And of course, we all know that some of the roots of karate came from China. So this has a super Chinese flavor. What? Well, yeah, that's true. But if you look deeper, it also could have been uh, go back as in uh, Japan. Uh, Africa could have been. Uh, he, even though he says he says it, but he, if you look in the uh, uh, the roots of of martial arts and uh, uh, as early as time, just figure out who has who came out there with a um, style of system fence. It could have been uh, Greece or it could be uh, uh, Africa. I've got, uh, have a little style. They have the similar things of what you see now. Uh, they don't have, it doesn't have just, it's not just what you see, everybody knows as a uh, camera. No, there's a uh, other, uh, Africa, uh, martial arts. Uh, they have, uh, wrestling and steak fighting, but that's not a video. We can just fin this, fin this. This one as well. We don't want to make it too too long, right? Especially with the dragon, and of course they bring good luck. Let's go inside. Pretty cool. I once heard a story that these these beams, these uh, wooden uh, blocks up here, were actually designed to keep samurai warriors or ninjas outside so they their swords would get stuck here if they tried to invade the castle if they did like a overhead blow i'm not sure if that's true or not but at least it's a fun story
現在は海岸に坂道、段差の対応が多いため、Uh, there's a lot of Japanese in the back when I heard. Uh, I. I love to go back to try to see if I can translate it. Um. Let's see if I could. Not sure if that's true or not, but at least it's a fun story. Thanks, I love. Thanks, I love. Um. I did, I would just do a different swing. Uh, I guess they, uh, 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 This is, this is the Okushoin area where the king uh, took his rest between his activities. And, and imagine if you're like a karate master who's guarding <coughs> the king. You can't really move Ooh, around and do big king. things here, right? You have to have super narrow moves and you move in a straight line and use these uh, tight <coughs> moves just like we have in Okinawa Karate. Nothing big and exaggerated like in modern karate because that wouldn't work here, right? All Okinawan houses are super tiny so it has to be uh, that way, the, the, the tactics when you do your techniques, right? Here we have the king's throne. This is where the king would sit when they had important ceremonies, of course, with the queen as well. And many of the high priestesses in Okinawa were always women, because women have a special role in uh, Okinawan society. So the queen would be with the king and they would worship their spirit gods, because they don't have the, the, first time the same religion as we have in the West. Uh, they have more of a natural religion. Yes, so they worship the, the trees and nature and, and uh, sacred rocks and stuff like that. But of course they had the Chinese influence as well, so there's a place for the statue of the Buddha and the other Which, uh, Chinese stuff. Like there's a picture. Buddha is uh, a Indian. Uh, Stars in India. Uh, it's it, it made its way right down to uh, China, and that's another again a, a fantastic story. Uh, a, 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 another time though. Sure, another Confucius story. as well. Confucianism was a big part of the Okinawan religion too. Right. Um, this is the king's. Confucius was a philosopher, and he had. Uh, not, uh, not just a philosopher. He, 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 he was uh, very good. He had really good uh, word. Uh, 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 what, what the words I'm trying to say? Philosophies. He had a lot of good philosophies. Uh, uh, one of them was. Um, I think he was also known as a uh, as a prophet, but I know one of the seven. Uh, he's really known known for this word, these words, uh, "Owner of the heavens," or I'm, I'm prefacing now, "Owner of the heavens." We are known by family. Uh, the meaning, uh, I'm, I'm not sure of that. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but he's this uh, basically. Uh, he was saying, uh, all of, all of heaven is under the stars. We are not but big, one big family. So we are, we, we join together, we are united. Uh, it, it's something similar to what you would hear, uh, in a Bible, like, uh, teaching us how to love each other, uh, and, and, and uh, respect our, uh, have, each one of us have a purpose in life, in, in other words. Cram. And a fun karate nerd uh, detail is that there's a kata called Wang Kan that actually means the king's crown. Why? No freaking idea. If you want to travel around the world and get paid to speak, paid to share a message that's so important to you and can benefit millions of people, yeah, sorry, I, I don't, I'm not an editor. That's it. Another iconic landmark off the bucket list. So he's ordering in Japanese, which is. Oh, or Okinawan. So, uh. 
He said, may I have one? Uh, no words. So it is. As uh, the dialogue again, man, uh, it's different. I, it's, I, I, I don't know too much Algonon, but you can I, I absolutely guess what he's trying to say because uh, he knows how to speak Algonon better than I, I, I could speak Japanese. I tell you what. As I was saying, you can. Uh, he said, uh, so. Um, I I'm gonna give him a message that means like thank you uh thank you for the for the mail. He's uh usually when you before you uh when you receive a mail, uh you you have you hear the term. I can uh it's it's meaning uh thank you for the mail uh very very, very um. Gracious, grace. You show your grace. You're graceful. You are very thankful that you your brothers received this very delicious meal. Not visit Okinawa without trying a moss burger. This is one of my favorites. This is the fish burger with mustard and mayo, and this is a seafood burger, and instead of the bun, it's actually rice, which is good if you want to be healthy and gluten-free, uh, or if you're just crazy like me. The perfect pre-workout before hitting the dojo, because, I mean, that's all we do here in Okinawa, right? Train, eat, sleep, repeat. Bon appetit. This is funny, he's like, bon appetit, which is, uh, Fresh word for uh, enjoy your meal, like uh, whatever you know. It's it's very uh, you know, but uh, I'm supposed to say, to say something in Japanese. That's good. Next stop is the again. He's. <laughs> Could at least say Oishi something, <laughs> but I get it. The dojo of Aragaki Sensei. He's a Matsubaya Shiryu teacher. Matsubaya Shiryu is a, a type of Shorin Ryu created by Nagamine Shoshin. Oh, it's interesting. an interesting style. They also use the weapons like the the bow oh. and the sai, for example, the Kobudo weapons. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, again, being a popper. Uh, person who has spent uh, a life a, a lot of their life in uh, Japanese he he won't say both staff as we are um, custom saying in, in uh, America, uh, some, so uh, Bo this is what it means just staff so uh, Sai is uh, something you will see in this totals uh, Raphael's uh, Specificity was the uh, size, the size. Uh, the you got Leo Nana who specializes in katanas. Then you have Michelangelo uh, Nanchoku. Uh, then you have Bo with this Don Nintendo. Training. Let's see how it goes. So. We're like in the middle of nowhere, and this is supposed to be Aragaki Sensei's dojo. Uh, and I think it's actually upstairs in this house, uh, but it doesn't look like a real dojo. Uh, and that's often the case. He's an Aragaki Sensei, would mean he's the teacher, right? Sensei also can mean um, doctor. It literally uh, translates to uh, someone who knows <coughs> that specific, like. Uh, for him calling himself uh, the nerd, he is. Uh, that's one of the reasons why he's a uh, sensei because he know he really knows his knowledge. He passed down his knowledge to somebody else. Uh, sensei is someone who. Um, uh, it doesn't really mean. Uh, the, 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 uh, 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 here in America, Sensei is someone who has a rank, who's a black belt. Uh, but a, 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 a Japanese word that means uh, teacher, someone who's 
respectful has a high respectful level of understanding of their particular uh, style whereas uh, all the craft you could be a uh, math teacher right uh, you, you let's say you uh, uh, if you watch any uh, anime the the teacher <clears throat> the high school teacher the or uh, the students will call they won't say senpai they will say sente or professor if you were in the college and they have a professor there and we, they, they, you, the, the word sensei will be used it's in Okinawa, it's like in the middle of nowhere some random house somewhere uh, kind of a secret you know, those who know, they know so let, let's see what it's like so guys is black belt I mean, it's letting me know that he's been training a long, long time. The the white, is, his black is uh, faded out. Uh, it's uh, so I'm assuming he has to be a uh, sonan or a yonda, and he has to be a uh, really long. I mean, I don't know how long Jesse be doing. How long he been black belt? But he been on black belt for a long, long time. The the uh, the 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 white belt, the the white in his belt means it's been worn out. He's been wearing it for a long time. Uh, and so it shows the the dedication that he has put in in his style of, of martial arts. For real, for real, I'm on the ball. So if he was a, uh, a, a, a new black belt, he would be, uh, his, 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 um, black belt would be really, it would be like this guy right here. Really uh, new looking. And he would be, uh, what did I know, a short on. But he's higher than that, man, because his belt is uh, looking rough and it shows the, the, his dedication of the art. <coughs> you know, you're an Okinawa. Uh, a fact. Uh, sorry, uh, I, I just, my mind just come, another thing, a fact in my, in my mind, because my last video, and now this is what I'm saying, when, uh, so you, uh, they, they had a be uh, belt, and your belt was only white, you start with just white, and, uh, if you train so long that that white belt become black. And when you get your black belt, actual black belt, as a sign, and then and that, that belt becomes white. It's like you started from the beginning, and the black belt, when the black belt t started to turn to white, the, the, the moment you get your black belt, that's the first level, right? And then you go back to the back to the roots again uh, of the beginning of it, because the black belt is not the end of your joining. Once you get the black belt, is it's just a stop, it's an only stop until you die, man. Because that's dedication. When the sensei asks you to go outside and hit the maki one up. Makawana is a uh, is it's a, like a focus 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 uh met to the base. It's, it's where you uh 
focusing your strikes, you're hitting on uh, this big uh, pole. It's a pole structure. It usually is uh, high enough where you can turn and hit the fist. You rotate your body into that power, and you're hitting, and you want to control. You, 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 it teaches you how to control your punches and toughen your your, your knuckles. It uh, really get to, it really conditions your 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 skin here. That's and it's for to uh, to uh, uh, it means to wrap. It, it's uh, wrapping around. So it's a pole that has a rope wrapping around on it. Uh, the one I hit. It was a pole that had a a pad on it, <laughs> and it hurts. I, I bust my knuckles on it. The makiwari is like the traditional striking post of traditional karate. Maki means round, and wara is the name of the of the straw, of these fibers that they wrap around the pole and then practice their strikes on. Of course, today we have like heavy bags and and kicking shields and impact stuff other stuff that we use but traditionally in the old days in Okinawa they always used the makiwara like this so you know you're in an old school dojo when they still got one I got what I had one when I went to a cut it go one two three yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, so, uh, now, in, in some rock. Kata. Nice. Very, uh, very fluid. Good, good. Good. Good job, man. Nice, Kata. So I, 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 I did understand uh, each knee son, he said one, two, three, he was throwing the, the blocks here. Now the, this block here, is a, uh, it's not just a block, it's also going to be a strike. What's that noise? Are you going to go to the bus? Well, he, well, I'll go, oh, well, he said I'll go to uh, 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 there. I already go to, go, I already go to, go to, she's the, she's the, uh, is a, um, uh, it's, it's another form of saying thank you, right? Uh, I already go to, I already go to, go to the master. Meaning it's like, uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's say thank you, in other words. If, if it, it's all, uh, all horrific. Wow, that was intense. The practice with Arakaki Sensei was incredible. I mean, I'm going to have bruises on my forearms, I bet, tomorrow morning. But Arakaki Sensei, I mean, he's a 10th done. So you got to be a badass if you're 10th done, right? He showed everything himself, so he he's like a, a real old school master. He not only talks the talk, but he walks the walk, right? Uh, it was an honor for me because he asked me to like show different katas and show different kinds of bunkai and kumite, and he had some really nice bunkai, the practical applications oh. of kata as well. Walk, oh. right? Yes. Tense. Uh, let's see his his belt. Uh, I can't really tell if it's red. You, uh, like somebody, maybe they didn't, they didn't take the red belt as uh, to show the 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 tent don, uh, uh, cause it's uh, not, cause it's Shotokan did, but I don't think they did. He's his belt is black, but uh, no, it was he's the grandmaster. He couldn't easily still say uh, the tent the to Dan, uh. Uh, uh Judon, Ju Judon, as uh, was the highest level again. Uh, meaning he's the he's the grandmaster. Okay. 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 
ありがとうございました。はい。ゴルフの距離。Wow, that was intense. The practice with Arakaki Sensei was incredible. I mean, I'm gonna have bruises on my forearms. I bet tomorrow morning. But Arakaki Sensei, I mean, he's a tenth done. So you gotta be a badass if you're tenth done, right? He showed everything himself, so he he's <coughs> like a, a real old school master. He not only talks the talk, but he walks the walk, right?、Uh, it was an honor for me because he asked me to like. Show different katas and show different kinds、Both、of bunkai、hands. and kumite,、yeah. and he had some really nice bunkai, the practical applications of kata as well.、Uh, and I thought one thing was interesting: when we did the warm up, he only counted to six instead of ten on each exercise、mm. because he said that means we can start the real karate practice faster. And I thought that was pretty fun.、Um, But you know what? I'm actually a little bit ashamed that I wore my black belt because I usually wear、uh, a white belt when I go to new dojos. But I couldn't wear it this time, so he said I should wear my my old black belt, which I brought just in case. And then at the end, of course, we did the the cleaning. You know, cleaning cleaning the dojo is a traditional thing here in Okinawa. Everyone does it, no matter what rank you are, no matter what age your belt. You always clean the dojo afterwards. Uh, to show humility, and you know that's the karate spirit. That's what、oh, we、yeah. need to learn to be humble and to grow. Yeah,、uh, awesome training. Uh, uh, I like it. I dig it, dude.、Uh, he's very knowledgeable of what he does. I mean, he.、Uh, I. I get it. To to、uh, show. Uh. Respect. When you go to another dojo,、uh, you sh- you want to show us respect, not because you, you sh- especially because、uh, if you go in there with your black belt, you are basically showing that hey, I know my stuff. But when you are emptying your cup, empty your mind, be shiftless, formless. Because when you put, right? So you, if your teacup is full, over already, and you put more tea in your cup, it's gonna overflow. So you dumped it. We we go back to the beginning of that by wearing the right belt again. That respect, I respect that. He said,、uh, "He couldn't do it, and he and he said, 'I wear my old.' He said, 'Wear your old black belt, which、uh, show that you were went from、um, having a black belt and going. You wear it so long that you go in, back to the new, right? For a new,、uh, when your black belt goes into that, it shows a new beginning.'" Uh, of your,、uh, you continue of your continuing, uh, continuing、uh, of your joining. So, um, uh, I respect、uh, of him wanting to wear his white belt to a new dojo to show respect. So he he wants to, uh, so he can show him that he's, uh, emptying his、uh, knowledge of cup of knowledge. So he can、uh, fill it back up with his knowledge.、Uh, good for you.、Uh, I, I joined with、uh, really well.、Uh, uh, awesome general that he has. First time reacting. I hope you like my reaction、uh, with this.、Uh, subscribe to all the YouTube things. I'm out later.